our last talk before second break with Tom and he's talking about couch surfing, building your profile and how to write a decent request. Hello. How many couch surfers are here tonight? Alright. Anyone here who doesn't know what couch surfing is? Okay, let me explain anyway. <laughs> couch surfing is a dating site. <laughs> Asterix. <laughs> couch surfing is not fucking Instagram. If I have to see another profile with a hundred pictures, I, ah, I hate those. <laughs> no, couch surfing is a way of connecting travelers with locals, of connecting locals with locals, travelers with travelers, it's to meet people. And whenever people meet, things can happen. Hence why... <laughs> that's why there's the asterisk. And culture things, everything our parents told us, I don't know. <laughs> So why am I giving this talk? First of all, because there's an unusually large number of couch surfers here tonight. And I'm going to tell you how to pick up and hopefully get a host. How to behave as guest or host, in my opinion. <laughs> and how to be safe as guest or host, also in my opinion. <laughs> so who am I? I'm Tom, I'm 33. I'm on Couch Surfing since 2009. I have over 100 references and I've hosted over 150 people. The discrepancy is because the old Couch Surfing system, when they changed to the new one, not every reference got uh, taken over. Sometimes I had more than one guest at the same time. Sometimes people don't leave references because they're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so here are some request examples. Hi Tom, I'll be in Munich next Thursday. Could you host me? Please let me know. Smiley face. Would you host this person? No! Too bad, she had great tits. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are Erasmus student in Porto and we will start travel other countries. Second destination is München in 29th March. We are three people and we need to place for a stay tonight. <laughs> hey, was wondering if you could accommodate my friend and her boyfriend for a night or two. They're really chilled, respectful and friendly. <laughs> I posted none of these people, but the one with the great tits that really hurt to turn to the <laughs> And the thing is, over the years since 2009 I've received over a thousand requests. And I have a turn down rate of 90%, so only 10% of people actually are able to write decent requests. And so I figured out, it shouldn't be hard to write one. But most people don't know anyway, and so I actually wrote it on my profile, on how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but first, you have to find a potential host. So you, you're going somewhere, you, uh, you want to find a host. So, use your head. Check the last login date. If the person hasn't logged in for two years, don't bother writing. <laughs> Check the response rate. If it's at zero percent, don't bother writing them. FY minus at hundred percent. Check out hosts. Does the person have a complete profile? Check if he or she has uh, rules or limits at the home. Check the references. And also, check who gave those references. If there are references only from girls and you're a guy, don't bother writing. <laughs> and girls, whether that means it's a safe place for you or it's a guy to walk up with, I don't know, it's up to you. So, how to write a proper request? Address your potential host by the correct name. If I don't read my name, I will not host you. 
Say what brings you to town. If I don't know why you're coming, why should I let you into my home? I don't want to read sharing culture and stories. It's bullshit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Be reasonable regarding timing and also commit. For me, I, I don't accept uh, requests that are uh, longer in the future than one week. That means that uh, we have uh, February, so sometimes people write requests for Oktoberfest already. <laughs> Again, no, me and my friend. If you are coming with more than one person, say something about that other person. Is it your mother? Is it whatever? I hate that. <laughs> English, please. Or your, or the, the language you're actually speaking. If it's in your native language and I don't understand it, don't write to me. <laughs> Proper spelling and punctuation. If English is not your first language, that one can be, uh, can be overlooked. But at least try. How to be a good house guest? Respect your host, like the person has to go to work, etc. Respect your host's home. Is smoking allowed? What's with the internet access, etc. Don't be a freeloader. At least offer to do the dish or something. Don't take shit. <laughs> yeah. And have a backup plan. If your host is crap, get the fuck out, get somewhere else. To a hostel, hotel, whatever. How to be a good host? Don't be on Westworld. <laughs> Clean the place after, uh, before your uh, guest arrives. Don't be a tyrant. I mean, most of these things are self-explanatory. Be willing to compromise. Be open. But don't be a creep. <laughs> Especially if you're a guy and the girl is coming over, even if you like each other, you're in a position of power, don't abuse that position. So, building your profile, I'm almost done, don't worry. Be honest about yourself. The very first sentence of my profile is, I'm not your friend. Yes, we're all strangers, don't forget that. Have pictures, but don't overdo it. Again, it's not Instagram. Be open, but don't too open. If you show pictures of your home, don't show pictures of uh, things that are worth stealing. And establish ground rules. Like no smoking, shoes off, etc. And the special case, Oktoberfest, I don't drink, so that one's off for me. Thank you. Any questions? Yes? Where would you draw the line? It was creepy. It was creepy to start. <laughs> if, if, you, if you hit on someone and you look like me, that is creepy. <laughs> You don't look like me, you have a fuller set of hair than I do, so yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So when you, when you go traveling, I mean, we know about your posting history, but when you go traveling, do you actually use these rules to look for a host, and then you do yes. all of these steps? And yes. How you, what, is I, your, what is your response rate that you get from other people? It's pretty high, actually. I use this like an algorithm. So, um, <laughs> it's, it's actually a checklist. If uh, I get a request that doesn't meet the requirements, you're out. Uh, yes. When somebody's guest at your place, you said number four, don't take shit. What do you mean by that? It means that uh, don't play, um, don't let that uh, host. Uh, you have to respect what the, your host wants, but don't let, uh, yeah, but don't let uh, him put too much pressure on you. You were thinking literally, right? I want to make sure. Yeah, one tip for people who want to, to, to watch it for a host, like read a profile of a host, because that's a yeah, common idea to uh, write somewhere a secret word, because a lot of people just don't read a profile. Yes, read the fucking profile, I forgot to mention <laughs> it. But actually I have that rule set on how to write a profile, it's on my profile. <laughs> so it's impossible to screw it up unless you haven't read the profile. Yeah, and I have a question, so sure. open, open question. Because you said it's a date from now, and that's really so. And like for example, for last week, I 
got few uh, requests from a guys. I don't know if it's for boys like this, but for girls a lot of. For boys who don't want a host, who don't want, who don't want something, just want to date with you. Report it. Yeah, um, but it doesn't work for a lot, a lot of people, and a lot of people don't report of it. And that's a question how we can. Well, like I said earlier, use your head. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's actually that simple, which makes it also very complicated, but that's the best answer I can give you. Yes. Uh, one question, how much value do you put on if the person that is uh, requesting for host um, is having references or not? If it's meeting the all other requirements? Just to know not, your opinion. Not, not much actually, not I mean much, everybody okay. has to start somewhere. Yeah, okay, good. I've hosted plenty of people who didn't have any references, but the profile checked out. A lot of nice people. Yes. If your admission rate is at 10%, you're more selective than Oxford. University. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very difficult to get into your home. You, did you, did you, you make me sound smarter than I actually am. But did you never, out of curiosity, host someone with a very bad request just to have them in your home and teach them? At the very beginning, um, yes, because I didn't know better. And after I changed my profile, the, the main reason why I built my profile this way to be like this asshole was to filter out most of the bad requests. So most people don't want to write me in the first place. <laughs> and, th and that actually helped a lot. It saved me a lot of time. Yes. One question from someone who has never experienced couch surfing. Um, might be a silly thing. question, but why do it? I'm sorry, but if... Uh, it's, it's fine. Get you, it. you meet a lot okay. of great people. But you just said, I'm not, in your profile it says, I'm not your friend, thinking, so you're not... That doesn't friend. mean I can't be your friend in oh. the future. Okay. But a lot of people, they write to you like uh, you know each other, but you, you don't, that's the truth. So it's basically to meet people, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, honestly, my first reason is because it's free, <laughs> free mostly, and of course to meet people, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick question. I didn't use uh, Couchsurfing for a long time since the friendly ownership. How is the situation these days? Is that like three years ago or something? Uh, the, the quality of the, of the members in general, in my opinion, has gone down, but that's only because it's gotten more popular, which is not a fault of Couchsurfing, it's with every popular platform. The more popular it gets, the more it attracts everyone, including. Not so great people. There was one. Ah, yes. Uh, did you ever have a bad experience? What was the worst one? Um, I had to kick out only one person. Uh, it was during Oktoberfest. Um, did quick answer. Um, she wrote me at uh, 3 a.m. that she wanted to come home. Uh, but she didn't, so at next, uh, the next day at 8 p.m. at 8 a.m. Uh, she wrote me again, she'll be here in an hour. It took her two hours, so essentially she wasn't spending the night at my place, so I had to turn down someone else, but uh, that place got unused, and so she robbed someone else of a place, and that's, that's why I said, okay, get out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.